this is gonna be a fun load i'm in pella iowa now and got five stops i don't remember all the stops i know one's north of uh san francisco or two is north of san francisco one in san francisco one in san jose or san yeah san jose and then one north of los angeles so i'm hoping to have them off by thursday evening five of these little AT&T trailers they're actually I mean pretty stout a lot of weight in the front uh, these trailers weigh 2400 pounds a piece so 12,000 pounds uh, I lost a couple chains I don't know I may have took them out at the house and forgot to put them back in uh, they required two chains per trailer is what they wanted got here i had my 10 binders well actually 11 binders but i was missing uh three chains so i asked them i was like hey i got uh plenty of tire lassos i got axle straps uh i mean we we can make this work and he said yeah that's fine they're not that heavy so they said the uh the main the the reason they want two chains are on these trailers right here that are longer uh a chain in the back and then a chain in the front but the way these are it's kind of difficult you know you get your your chains back there and then your chains right here but you still leave this exposed to swing so i went ahead and put a four inch through the uh panel eye because they don't want straps right here on the paint they don't want straps anywhere on the paint so but he said going through the panel eye to hold the front down and then i have a chain pulling one way and two tire lassos pulling the other way so we should be good shouldn't have no issue i've hauled trailers with tire lassos before and chains and 
pretty much just the same way. The last trailer I hauled that I also had to unload myself weighed about 20 pounds on two, or, I'm sorry, 20,000 pounds on two 3,500 pound axles. <laughs> That's why one of the tires blew out going down the road on that trailer I was hauling. Uh, had to get it fixed and then they paid me back. But I hauled it the same way it was good so i already checked over everything everything's tight wrapped up like a christmas present so we're uh just gonna get on the road anyway we'll holler at y'all later What's up? I guess we're gonna uh, see how this single axle does in the snow and ice. Cause I'm fishing to be coming through the thick of it through uh, Wyoming. Uh, looks like it starts getting, according to the weather, it starts getting uh, icy around Cheyenne. So, and I, I think I'm probably. 40 miles, 50, 50 miles, something like that from Cheyenne. But I'm trying to get at least, I'd like to get to uh, the Salt Lake area today. That way I can finish up the trip. Well, get to my first destination tomorrow afternoon and, uh, or my first delivery and get this, uh, at least get the first trailer dropped off that way i can finish up the other four the day after so that'll put me getting hopefully getting loaded back up friday and going from there so this will uh like i said this will be the first time having this through the snowy or the wind winter weather I guess you could say. Uh, it's one of the drawbacks to the single axle. You're just going to have to be a lot more careful, especially mine, because I don't have a diff lock. So, I could get stuck easier. You know, if I, if I had to stop and try to get going again. So, anyway, we'll see how it goes. I checked, uh, I checked Wildman's Highway website or whatever. Everything looks pretty good. Uh, there's a couple spots that uh, just has a caution on it. Uh, no advisories, but just, like I said, just a caution for uh, wet pavement with snow. So hopefully we're able to get through it pretty easy. Uh, I think we only got about 150 miles, 100 miles of it. And then it starts clearing back up. So we will see. We'll holler at y'all shortly. So coming into Wyoming, they have some billboards on the side of the road. I thought it was pretty funny. These uh, these companies must be hurting. They're thirsty. They're 
drivers. Billboard said, uh, what did it say? If you if you're a uh, it said if you're a mediocre CDL A driver, call. I think it was like eight five five trucker or trucking or something like that. And come drive for Tri-State. And the other bill, uh, billboard is like, no, seriously, call with the number. <laughs> It must be hurting pretty bad if they're looking for mediocre. I know I wouldn't want to hire a mediocre driver. Wind gust 40 miles an hour. And the sign said take it out of cruise. Slick roads ahead. Man, I don't know if y'all can see it. The clouds over there are absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. Man, the defrost and heater in this truck works too good. I'm having to roll down the window and drive with the window down just to stay cool. I want heat on the window, of course, but, and I have it, I have it setting on like one. Uh, it's going between zero and one. Even at zero with just the, the regular amount of air that comes through the vents, it still gets too hot here. Oh. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Truck ain't giving me no issues uh, so far. Golly, it's so hot. I have it on zero right now. <laughs> 